In this video, we're going to show you how to get your new FortiWeb up and running. This will include logging into the application for the first time, connecting it to your network, configuring basic settings, and creating and testing server policies. Let's get started. There are many ways to integrate a FortiWeb into your enterprise network, but for this video, we will be focusing on one of the more common scenarios, reverse proxy mode. For this layout, we will have a FortiWeb, a FortiGate, and the servers we will be protecting with our firewall. The first thing we will need to do is set up the FortiWeb hardware to allow us to configure the system. There are two methods of gaining access to the settings of your FortiWeb unit. The first is through the console port via the command line interface, which is covered in the FortiWeb quick start guide and not shown in this tutorial. The second is through the web UI via your browser. To gain access through your browser, we will need to make a couple of changes to the management computer. By default, the IP address on port 1 of the FortiWeb unit is set to 192.168.1.99. To access that network address, plug in your managing computer into port 1 and manually change your IP address to 192.168.1.2 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Once those changes have been set, open your browser and type in the URL address, https colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.99. The default username is admin, and there is no password. The first thing we will do in the FortiWeb GUI is update the default admin user. Click on the Admin submenu, then Administrators. Select the name of the admin account, and click Change Password. Enter in a new password with at least 8 characters, and click OK. The FortiWeb will log you out of the system, so take a minute to log back in with the new password. Now, we will need to register our FortiWeb with the FortiGuard Protection Services. While logged into FortiWeb and in the System Information area of the dashboard, highlight and copy your serial number. Navigate your browser to support.fortinet.com. Log into the website and click Register slash Renew. Paste in your FortiWeb serial number to register the device. Once everything is complete, go back to the FortiWeb GUI. Next, we have to configure the FortiWeb to be accessible on your network. Click on the Network submenu an interface option. Here you will see all the physical ports of your FortiWeb appliance. Keep in mind that the available number of ports will vary depending upon the model of your FortiWeb. Notice the default information that is already configured for port 1 in which our management computer is currently connected. Before we configure the ports on the FortiWeb, here is a completed diagram of the devices in our example network with the ports and IP addresses labeled. Please be aware of a few things. First that the virtual IP address on the FortiGate that would have previously pointed towards the server does not need to be changed, and that it will now direct traffic to the virtual server address on the FortiWeb. Second, since the traffic beyond the FortiWeb will be in a different subnet, IP addresses on any server located in that area of the network will need to be changed. Let's go ahead now and set up the ports to get everything talking with each other. Select port 2 and edit. This port will be used as the connection for traffic between the FortiWeb and your FortiGate. Enter in the appropriate IP address and subnet mask for this section of your network. Click OK. Next, select port 3 and edit. This port will be used as the connection for traffic between your FortiWeb and your servers. Enter in an appropriate IP address and subnet mask for port 3 that allows communication between devices on this section of the network. Click OK. Now, navigate to the Static Route option under the Network submenu. Here we will set up a gateway to allow our network traffic to travel to the right destination. Click Create New. Type in the appropriate IP address for your gateway and the port that your FortiWeb will send information on. In this scenario, that will be port 2 and is the IP address of the FortiGate that communicates directly to the FortiWeb. Click OK. Next, navigate to the DNS option in the Network submenu and turn your primary and secondary DNS servers for your network. Click Apply when finished. With the network settings used in this example scenario, our FortiWeb is now ready to be physically connected to the network. Now that we have the network connections configured, we need to make some changes to the FortiWeb software settings to control traffic going through the device. Let's start by clicking on the Config submenu and FortiGuard. Here you will see the current status of your FortiGuard subscription services. Select the Scheduled Update checkbox and whatever frequency you prefer. Click Apply. If your FortiWeb hasn't yet downloaded the packages, Click on the Update Now button to force an update. You can also quickly view which installed versions of these updates the FortiWeb has by going to the FortiGuard Information Dashboard on the Status Submenu. Making sure that the FortiGuard services are regularly updated by FortiWeb 
will ensure complete protection for your servers. Next, navigate to the Server Objects menu. Click on the Server Submenu and Server Pool, and create new. Here we will create a server cluster with the web server we have on our network. Give the server pool a name, and select whether your setup is going to be a single server or a server balance. In our example, we are only using one server, but it can be easily applied to multiple using the server balance button. Click OK. Now click Create New and enter in the appropriate IP address for your server. Click OK. If you need to add another server entry, do so now. Then, click on the virtual server and Create New. This FortiWeb virtual server will act as a proxy for your web servers when it receives network traffic. The concept is similar to that of using virtual IPs on FortiGates. In this scenario, we will enter in the same IP address as the mapped address that our FortiGates virtual IP object uses for traffic forwarding, and set the interface port to port 2. Click OK when finished. Now that we have our servers set up in FortiWeb, we need to create and test the policy to see that HTTP traffic is being managed appropriately. Select the Policy menu and click on the Server Policy submenu and Server Policy item. Click Create New. Give your policy a name and look over the many options within the policy. You should take your time later to modify and optimize policies to suit your environment. For now though, select your virtual server, the server pool, and HTTP service. Under the Web Protection Profile pull-down, select Inline Medium Level Security and click OK. If you haven't already, you should configure your servers to have the same IP addresses and subnet masks that we used with our server pool definitions mentioned earlier in this video. With our FortiWeb device correctly set up and installed on our network, we can test connectivity by using a web browser to access the website hosted via the servers. We can also see that inappropriate access will be blocked by entering in a URL that should be restricted by the FortiWeb device. You can see details on the attack by looking at the record in the attack log within the FortiWeb GUI. That concludes our basic setup video for FortiWeb. For more technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com. Thank you for watching.